Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, this is the third video of Valuation of Goodwill chapter. And in the previous two videos, we have seen the concept of goodwill and we have solved a simple problem with the average profit method. Yes. So now in this video, what we are going to do is in this video, we are going to solve this problem with the super profit method as well as annuity method. Fine. So here to understand the super profit method, you must know average profit. You must know average profit method to understand the super profit method properly so that is why i will recommend you to please go and watch the previous video that is the problem of average profit method right if you haven't watched that previous video fine so now in this video as i said we are going to solve this problem with the super profit and annuity method so that is why we have to understand the super profit method like how it works and what is the formula of this super profit method fine so first let's do that now let's try to understand the super profit method with this example Let's say this is you and let's say you want to have a business in the market and you want to earn profits. Fine. So to do that, you have to own a business, right? So you have two options. Either purchase an existing old business or, or create a new business from scratch. Create a new business from nothing. Invest the capital and start your own new business with your own new name. Fine. So you have two options. If you go with the first option that is purchase an existing old business, see here in this example, we have three old businesses. First business is earning a profit of five lakh. The second business is earning a profit of four lakh and the third business is earning profit of three lakh. So they are good profit earning businesses in the past. Also, they have earned profits and in the future. Also, there's a good chance that they will earn profits. Yes. So this is the case of the old businesses. Now, if you go with the second option, if you go with the second option, if you create a business from nothing, from scratch, if you invest the capital, let's say you invest a 10 lakh capital and you start a business, then you will earn some minimum profit. You will earn some minimum profit. Let's say you earn 1 lakh. Okay, you will earn 1 lakh. Now, why can't you earn profit like them, profit like the old players, like the old businesses? That is because these old businesses, they have goodwill. Because of their goodwill, they are earning so much extra profits. They are earning so much profits. But you are a new player in the market. If you create a new business, if you go with the second option, then you will earn only minimum profit. And that minimum profit will be called as normal profit. And if we draw a cutoff line over here, right over the normal profit, the minimum profit, which you will earn by investing the capital and starting new business in the same industry, right? The normal profit. If you draw a cutoff line over there, then you can see that these old players, these old shops, they are earning so much extra profits. They are earning so much extra profits. Why are they earning so much extra profits? That is because of their goodwill. That is because of their advantage, which they have built over all these years, right? They are old businesses. So they have an advantage in the market over the new businesses, which come in the market. You understanding? See, they are having so much extra profits due to their advantage due to the goodwill which they have so these extra profits are called super profit the profits which they have over the normal profit what is the normal profit the normal profit is the profit which is expected if you create a new business if you create a new business and employ the capital capital invested okay capital employed means capital invested if you invest the capital into a new venture then whatever profit that you will get minimum profit that is called normal profit so the profit above the normal profit is called super profit. So these businesses are having super profit, right? Only if you are earning super profit, then only you can say you have goodwill in this method. According to this method, if you have super profit, then only you can say that your business has goodwill. Now this business, right? This new business doesn't have any goodwill. Why? Because it is not earning any super profit and it is not possible for them to earn super profit why because because it's a new business no one knows about this business it doesn't have any goodwill it doesn't have any reputation in the market right it doesn't have any loyal customers it has earned only a minimum profit it has not earned any extra profits so that is why this business doesn't have any goodwill these businesses have goodwill fine so this is the concept of super profit method 
Now in this method what we do is to calculate the goodwill of certain business let's say we have to calculate the goodwill of this business then what we do is we take the super profit of this business we take the super profit what is super profit super profit is the profit that is above the normal profit right so we take the super profit and then we multiply it with the number of years purchased for how many years in the future this business will be able to earn the super profit for example if you purchase this business now in 2019 then you have to multiply it with the super profit with the number of years purchased for how many years will this business be able to earn the super profit and it will be given to you in the question okay number of years purchase will always be given to you in the question so now let's see the formulas and then we are going to solve the problem okay you understood what is super profit right super profit is the extra profit it is the excess profit over the normal profit okay here this business has earned five lakh and the normal profit is one lakh so four lakh is the super profit simple right so this is the concept of super profit now let's see the formulas of super profit method now here we have the super profit formulas see how simple they are first we have goodwill formula goodwill is equal to super profit into number of years purchase number of years purchase means for how many years in the future this business will be able to generate the super profit that is called number of years purchase this will be given to you in the question you just have to multiply it fine and then super profit will not be given to you in the question you have to calculate the super profit the formula to calculate the super profit is average profit of the past years minus normal profit average profit of the past years minus normal profit what is average profit average profit is the profit the total profit right here it is 5 lakh so this is the total profit that business has earned in the past average profit fine so this is the total profit and if you subtract the normal profit from it you will get the super profit understood so this is how you calculate the super profit and then we have normal profit formula see the normal profit will also be not given to you in the question you have to calculate this normal profit fine so to calculate the normal profit what you have to do is you have to take average capital employed you have to take average capital employed and then you have to multiply it with the normal rate of return now normal rate of return will also be given to you in the question normal rate of return means how much you can expect to earn if you invest the capital in the new venture in the same industry if you invest 10 lakh capital in this business then the normal rate of return here for example is 10 percent okay let's say then you will earn 1 lakh profit that is the normal profit fine so this is what is normal rate of return fine so it will be given to you in the question you just have to multiply it with the average capital employed to find out the normal profit but sometime what will happen sometime the average capital employed will also be not given in the question so you might have to calculate the average capital employed also so let's see how to calculate average capital employed fine you understood these formulas right so let's understand how to calculate average capital employed now let's see how to calculate average capital employed if it is not given in the question see here we have the formula here to calculate average capital employed opening capital employed plus closing capital employed divided by 2 this is the first formula of calculating average capital employed but what if opening capital employed or closing capital employed is not given in the question then you are left with two other choices that is asset approach fine and liability approach you have to use either of these two approaches approaches to calculate the average capital employed in the asset approach what we do is we take total asset at market value okay excluding fictitious assets excluding fictitious asset what are fictitious assets fictitious assets like preliminary expenses right preliminary expenses goodwill in the balance sheet and then discount on issue of shares so all these are fictitious assets patents so you have to exclude all these fictitious assets and then you also have to exclude the non-trading assets non-trading assets mean the assets which are not related with the business not related with the business for example government securities right if the business has earned some income from government securities or by investing in some other company then those are non-trading assets right non-trading assets should not be included they are excluded in these assets fine and then you have to subtract it with the outsider liabilities outsider liabilities in the sense third party liabilities for example debentures creditors okay provision for taxation all these are outsider liabilities so you have to subtract the outsider liabilities then you will get the capital employed but this is not enough capital employed is not enough we want 
average capital employed so to find out the average capital employed we subtract half of profit earned during the year half of the profit of current year fine so we subtract that then we will get average capital employed simple right and then we have the third way to calculate the average capital employed that is the liability approach in liability approach what we do is we take share capital profit reserves all of them together okay we add up all of them so we will get a total and then from that total we subtract the losses in balance sheet what losses all the losses that are there in the balance sheet preliminary expenses goodwill in the balance sheet right all the losses will be subtracted from that and then we'll arrive at same capital employed as we did here also after subtracting the outsider liability same way we arrived at capital employed right so here also the same thing and then you are going to subtract the half of the current year profit then you will get average capital employed see the same thing subtract half of current year profit from the closing capital employed this is the closing capital employed okay you will get average capital employed fine simple right minus current year profit you get average capital employed so this is how you are going to calculate the average capital employed now let's solve the problem now let's solve this problem see here we have the question and they have given us a lot of information over here and at the last they have said you are required to calculate the value of goodwill of the business on the basis of five years purchase of super profits fine and then they have said annuity method of valuation so here they have also asked us to calculate the goodwill on the basis of annuity method fine so let's do that now first they have given us the profit see profits earned for the following three years 2016 17 52000 2017 18 59000 2018 19 54000 so they have given us the profits of past three years right yes so now first we have to calculate the average profit we need to calculate the average profit this is the formula of average profit right total of the past year profits divided by the number of years yes this is the formula of calculating the average profit why do we need to calculate the average profit first because to calculate the super profit we need average profit and in the question super profit is not given right so we need to calculate the average profit first so let's do that see here average profit is equal to total profit of the past year divided by number of years so we have got 52,000 59,000 and 54,000 are the profits of the past years so 52,000 plus 59,000 plus 54,000 divided by the number of years that are 3. So divide by 3, you get 55,000. Okay. If you add up, then you get 165,000. 165,000 divided by 3, that is equal to 55,000. Fine. And then you need to adjust the average profit if there is any adjustment in the question. Now here in the question, see here, they have said the profits included non-recurring profit on an average basis of rupees 3,000 they have said average basis they have said there is non-recurring profit now what we do of non-recurring profit non-recurring profit is an abnormal income it is an income which has arisen in the past but it is not going to arise in the future right we have to subtract that so that we can adjust the past profit for the future but they have said they have said on an average basis they haven't given us a non-recurring profit of a specific year they have said average basis so we have to subtract this amount this 3000 amount from the average profit fine after calculating the average profit we are going to deduct the 3000 non recurring profit then we will get the adjusted average profit that is 52000 simple right we got 52000 as the adjusted average profit and then we need to calculate the normal profit see here they have given us in the question normal rate of return is 10 percent normal rate of return is 10 percent average capital employed in the business is 3 lakh 20 thousand so they have given us the average capital employed as well as the normal rate of return so we can just multiply them and calculate the normal profit because we need normal profit to calculate the super profit right so we have calculated the average profit we need to calculate the normal profit see normal profit normal profit is equal to average capital employed into nrr into normal rate of return we have got here normal rate of return as 10 percent and average capital employed as 3 lakh 20 thousand so just multiply that 3 lakh 20 thousand into 10 percent 10 by 100 we get 32 thousand yes zero cancel zero cancel zero cancel zero cancel so we get 32 thousand as the normal profit so now we have average profit and normal profit easily we can calculate the super profit that is average profit minus normal profit yes 
average profit minus normal profit so 52,000 is the adjusted average profit minus the normal profit that is 32,000 so we get 52 minus 32 that is equal to 20,000 that is equal to 20,000 simple right average profit minus on normal profit we get 20,000 as the super profit now to calculate the goodwill according to the five years purchase of super profits so the goodwill formula in super profit method is super profit we have just found out 20,000 into number of years purchase for how many years the business will be able to generate the same profit so now here we have five years purchase they have directly given us and it will always be given so just multiply it super profit into number of years purchase 20,000 into 5 5 years they have said right so into 5 you get 1 lakh as the goodwill according to the super profit method fine and then they have said calculate through the annuity method of valuation right so annuity method is a method where we discount we discount the future value of super profit we have to multiply it with the annuity value which will be given in the question see here it is given in the question present value present value of an annuity of rupee 1 for 5 years at 10 percent is rupees 3.78 so the annuity value will be given to you in the question okay directly it will be given to you in the question in the exams fine so directly you have to multiply super profit into annuity value that is 20,000 into 3.78 you get 75,600 simple right annuity method is very simple so now in this video we have covered the annuity method okay so now you understood right how to calculate the goodwill with the super profit super profit into number of years purchase you get the goodwill and then annuity method also we saw it's very simple fine here the only new thing which we saw was the normal profit yes normal profit average capital employed normal rate of return and then the super profit super profit is the excess profit over the normal profit so this is how you solve the problem with the super profit method fine easy right i know it's very easy the formulas if you just understand the formulas then it's very simple there is nothing in this chapter it's all about the formulas and the formulas are also very simple if you understand right conceptually then this is very simple fine okay now in the next video we will see capitalization method